And hello everybody, welcome back to another series in Sharing Your Journeys. So I have my amazing friend on. So most of you know, um, me and Junius, I always say Junius, his name is Junius. I just find it quite hard to say Junius every time. Um, but yeah, so as most of you know, obviously me, me and Junius get along really, really well. I've seen him, uh, I've seen him live, I've seen him in person. He's so beautiful. So I'm so grateful and so happy he's here today. So welcome, Junius. Thank you. Thank you. And, and I don't know if you noticed, but my hands are black right now because I'm wearing my Sony Panda X hosiery oh. gloves. <laughs> I see the little logo. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And they, they, I must say they did an incredible job with uh, helping to get on my triple layers of by Sony Panda X tights that I'm wearing today. Oh, I'm, um, glad. I'm glad to hear you. Along, well, I mean, I would say actually uh, there's sextuple layers going on right now between myself and the leg model slash leg mannequin. So uh, I'll give you just a quick, quick, quick overview since we're on by Sony Panda yeah. X. So along with the hosiery gloves, which I, which I do use daily, if I may say, Oh, yes. I, I see the difference. Um, there's a huge difference. I had hosiery gloves given to me um, when I was at another Tice Boutique many years ago. Never took them out the package. Actually, really nice. Never took them out the package because yeah. I was just like, here, I use my hands. But when I started using yours, when I started using my Sony Panda X hosiery gloves regularly, I was like, OK, I see the difference now. Like yeah. when I clean up, when, you know, I'm in the process of organizing my actual tights room. And I use hose, I use these hosiery gloves mm -hmm. as far as handling all of my tights, not just putting them on, but actually picking them up. Cause you can get snags, hangnails, any kind of anything, and your tights are done. So thank you for these. These are absolutely amazing. Oh no, I'm glad to hear I'm glad the fact that you actually are oh, using them. No, like, oh yeah. Because to be fair, like I mean, don't get me wrong, I use them like all the time on my hosiery, but it's like because they're um because obviously like bamboo cotton gloves. I use it for moisturizing my hands at night now as well. So not only have they become like my stuff, they're now full of creams and everything as well. So I'm having to wash them regularly because <laughs> like I'm using them multi-purpose for everything. So it's, just, it's just nice to hear. It's just so nice yes. to hear. Good, you know, good for gardening, um, you know, good for <laughs> driving <laughs> race cars, like any type of thing that you would need, washing dishes, any type of thing you would need gloves for by Sony Panda X yeah. as you cover it. So, yes. Yeah. And they help me put on, if I may say quickly, uh, my, like I said, triple layer. So I'm, the top layer is Starry Night Tights, of course. And then I'm actually double layering Starry Night Tights. So the layer underneath the Starry Night Tights, and then I'm wearing the Parisian underneath that as the first layer. So, yes. And on the leg mannequins are, I double cuddled it. Um, so cutler tights here. And then I've actually got a layer here of cutler on top. And then underneath that is the after dark and black. Oh, I love, I've never done the double cuddler. And now I want to. <laughs> oh, want to. Double cutler is like um, when I travel, you know, of course, yeah. I told you, like, I wear it, e even if it's layering underneath another tight, the mm -hmm. cutler tights stay in the mix like every day because they're such, they're, they're just such a great all around tight. They're great for at home lounging around. They're great for if you need to go to an after five event or if you like want to travel, like for traveling, they're just the most comfortable, you know, get on airplanes and trains yeah. and cars and all that all the time. It is like just that comfort and the color tights provide that. So I double up with the color quite a bit and especially on my touring. So try it out. Yes. It out. No, I need to. I mean, I like lounging in it anyway, but you know, when it does get really cold, because in the UK at the moment, our weather's just, it's weird. It's weird and wonderful. And it is as days where it's like, it's freezing and you only think, oh, mm. but never once did I think to double cuddler. So I'm, yeah, I'm actually going to try that and I'm going to let you know how I get on. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So anyway, so um, what I wanted to do was basically ask the first and foremost question, which is obviously on everybody's mind. So how did you start your hosiery journey? And just tell us, or just basically tell us all about it. Yeah. So technically, if I mean, just like on the technical side, my hosiery journey started as a baby. Um, I was one of, you know, of course, there's over many years of tradition to whether boy or girl 
to put babies in tights because it keeps yeah. their legs warm. And, you know, it's just, I mean, you've seen them sharing photos over the course of generations. And so I was one of those babies. And so there's, there's pictures to prove it. There's a couple uh, floating around. I have one and then there's another line around somewhere. Um, yeah. So anyway, as a baby, that's kind of how I always say I've been wearing tights since I was a baby. And so, you know, I mean, I say it funnily, but it's, I mean, yeah. it's true, you know, but um, from what I remember, I remember, I remember even as a child um, and I was the youngest in my family and I have an older sister and older brother. My older sister was a ballet dancer as I was coming up and to the point where when she was a teenager, she was, she was dancing professionally at like 15. Wow. Yeah. She was, yeah. she was amazing. Um, and so of course, I mean, you know, when your sister's a ballet dancer, yeah, there's tights everywhere. Yeah. And so, you know, and I mean, even just my mother and us living in Chicago um, and like, even my dad with long underwear, like just that, yeah. that thing of like, I mean, everybody, if, they weren't wearing tights they were wearing long underwear around the house you know in the winter time especially and so um for whatever reason um that always interested me and I mean even I remember as a child the feeling of wearing like long underwear around the house you know and just the I don't know I've always felt like my legs have had some type of extra level of sensitivity to the touch and so how it felt and how it looked even then as a child I remember that um and that's really you know because I mean as a baby you know I don't remember wearing tights as a baby and so I just remember like I said as a kid maybe around like seven or eight or something like that I remember that and yeah that was always it was like that was the thing I remember that was the thing that like got me into the feeling of wearing so that's the wearing side of it and then I, and I'll come back to that but then like as far as even the visual side of it um tights always intrigued me like I always loved comic books for that reason um yeah. you know I love Jean Grey from X-Men and like her like stripe design of like uh green and yellow and all that and I mean like I say even on the ballet side with my sister and all that I mean I was, I was seeing tights all the time so it was just always something that intrigued me and being I, I would say now thinking back on it like just having an artist's mind if you will um, understanding shape and all of that, like, and I feel like the leg being the longest part of the body. I mean, it's a beautiful part of the body. Mm -hmm. um, it's my favorite part of the body, uh, <laughs> you know? So mm -hmm. yeah, I was always, I just remember even as a child, I was being interested in that. And then when I was a teenager, maybe my freshman year in high school was the time that I remember like really being interested in wearing tights regularly. Um, like I remember the day that like I tried them again, you know, from being a small child. And then I tried them again, like on my own. Um, you know, of course I was by myself and all that. Yeah. And I remember that day and that feeling and I never forgot it. It was like the greatest feeling ever. <laughs> and yeah. so from that, I started, like, I loved it so much that, you know, and mind you, this is like, this is the nineties. This is like the mid nineties, mm -hmm. mid to late and so I remember even being a teenager, like when I would go grocery shopping with my mom or something, you know, I'd break off into like the department store that was nearby and go and like buy tights. And I remember like the first couple of times the cashier like laughing at me, wow. you know, so Seriously? yeah, oh yeah, 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 definitely. Um, like, so yeah, my, it wasn't like, my experience was like, you know, buying tights for the first time. Yeah, oh, this is really cool. And like, no, absolutely yeah, yeah. not. Like, I got, yeah, I got laughed at. And so I remember the lady, I can still see it to this day. Like the lady looking at me and like, she looked at me again. She looked at me, looked down and looked at me, kind of looked at me again and just started laughing to herself. And I, it was like a green pair of opaque tights and a blue pair of opaque tights that I bought. It's 25 years ago. And I'm remembering this stuff. It's kind of crazy. Um, but it was, but you know, interestingly enough, it was from that being laughed at even that first time mm -hmm. that it just like ignited something in me. It, yeah. it, you know, to where, it, yeah, it was like this kind of like, oh, okay, so this is how you see it. Okay. And it, it was a little bit of this like kind of F you attitude. 
I'm going to do what I want. And so mm-hmm. every week when we go to the grocery store after that, I will go in there and I will go buy tights and that same lady would be there. And after a while, she stopped laughing. She just would like ring me up and like, you know, I'd be on my way. But every week, yeah, yeah I would go in there just to like, you know, get comfortable with doing something like that, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so that's kind of how it started. And then in high school, I mostly wore under my clothes and stuff like that. But um, because I went to an all boys high school. So, you know, of course, you had to wear pants and all that. But like, yeah, yeah, but even being an athlete in high school, like athletic tights and all that. So they were still like always around, Um, just not footed. But I mean, and, you know, during the school day, I wore footed tights under all my pants and all that stuff. Um, But there will be times where I would like go out at night and there was a trail like by my house growing up. And I was sometimes just to, again, be comfortable with like wearing tights outside. I would like go outside. I remember this, like I would go outside with pants on, but yeah. tights under my pants and then like with a book bag and then like ditch the pants, put them in my book bag and just like walk this trail with just tights on just to see like how it felt and to get comfortable with that. So I started doing that when I was around like 15. You know, and those are it's those little things that were the building blocks to get me comfortable like I am today. It was really those things, you know, that those are those little. Th- I mean, that's I think that's a big part of why I am as comfortable as I am with the way I do it was because, you know, thinking back on those times, it's funny, you got me like reminiscing, um, like, but really like thinking back on those times, it was those things that were the building blocks getting laughed at and not just by that lady, by like you know, multiple people, because then it got to a point where, like, I would still do the book bag thing to walk out the house, but, like, because, you know, I didn't want to get laughed at by my family at the Mm -hmm. time or nothing like that, Um, but, yeah, I would do that. I would, like, take a book bag and then, like, ditch the pants, put them in the book bag, and then, you know, little by little, I I would do that more and more, and, like, you know, I guess even through college, kind of a similar thing, but I got more comfortable with it in college. Like college was where like the ripped jeans phase where I started like ripping my jeans and wearing tights under like all these patterns and stuff like that. And it was those times where people would ask me, like even in college, like, are you wearing tights under there? And I would, you know, be like, yeah. So again, these things, blah, 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 blah. Fast forward to 2000 and um, there's of course a bunch of big events in between, but I'll fast forward to like the major thing, which was like maybe 2012 yeah. um, or 13 or something like that, where um, Cecilia de Raphael, I started to post more on social media with just me and tights. Like, you know, and I do it in these artistic ways to make it look all yeah. artistic so people wouldn't get all weirded out, you know, <laughs> yeah. but you know what I mean? Like that kind of stuff. But I would do it just because like, I always had this feeling even from like a young person, a teenager, of like, I have to do this. I just don't know how to know at the time how I was going to mm-hmm. like pull this off. But I knew even then, like, it was a vision then that I had. And it was just like, I got to figure out a way to do this. And so Cecilia de Raphael comes into the picture in like maybe 2013 or 14. And it was from that that I started wearing tights regularly, like the way I do it. More, I, I wore more with shorts back then, even though I would wear them like I wear them now. But like, mm-hmm. I would kind of go half and half with like wearing tights with shorts and just wearing tights, you know, without. And um, as that, even as that evolved, like I just kind of ditched the shorts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, you know, so even, you know, I may pull out some tights and shorts picks every once in a while because the shorts are a good look. So I just kind of ditched them because I felt like I wanted to be a soldier for just like wearing tights. You know, I feel like, Mm -hmm. you know, it's something that should not be frowned upon. It's not something that should be looked at as strange or anything like that. So I just kind of became an ambassador for that. So that's it. Why I even ditched the shorts? Because I was just like, no, I want to be, if I'm going to be it, I want to be all of it. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. (laughs) I don't think I've ever really seen you in shorts. (laughs) That's the thing. Like, I've probably ever known you. Like, so... For just for some context, um, I've known Junis for so long. Like this is like on my previous Instagram page that's kind of no longer there anymore. Like me and Junis got in touch ages ago, and even from then, I don't. I rarely ever. No, honest to God, not even rarely. I've never seen you in shorts. I've only ever known you wear tights as it is, and I think that's what I. That's what I really adore about you is the fact that one, you're so different. 
and two is you know you know one thing I love about it is you're so confident and that just as a woman that empowers me to see you it just in your form owning it and it's like yeah, and it's like every time I see your pictures, I see that come through every single time to be like, yeah, this guy is confident and he's like, he's getting it. And it's just, and it's just so nice to see. It's so refreshing to see. So I, yeah, I can't, I can't have ever seen you in short. <laughs> no, I kind of want to just to see what you look like. <laughs> well, you know what this means? That means, this means I'm going to, at the very least, I'm going to, that means the next, this, this so. Okay, you heard it first. This week's Throwback Thursday is going to be pictures of me in shorts and tights from back in the day. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. That, uh, that I definitely want to see. I'm I'm waiting to see. I've got some cool ones, I think. I, I, I feel like I started pretty good, you know, in that time. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, you know, it's interesting, like, um, things that, you know, we've talked about previously where... Um, I feel like even though I wear tights the way I do, there's nothing wrong with wearing tight, like whatever way that you wear them is really okay. Like, is I feel like as long as, you know, you're confident with what you're doing, like it's, it's not, it shouldn't have to be a fear thing. Like if you want to wear tights under a suit, if you want to wear tights under shorts, if you want to wear them by themselves, whatever, like, you know, just do what you feel comfortable and what what just do what makes you feel comfortable with it and that's really how I feel about it you don't have to necessarily wear tights like I do um but do it how your vision sees you doing it you know mm -hmm. and because I mean my thing is when you because I think that's the beautiful thing about creativity when you do that then you open up new avenues for other people to kind of see it a different way you know and I feel like everybody has the power and the creativity to do that you just have to tap into it. You have to be aware of yourself enough to tap into that. And everybody has that ability to take the things that have influenced them. Like, I mean, I have influences and you do and we all do. But the key is to take those influences and like take it further, find something new to do with it. You know, it's like I understand where I am in the tights world and like where I stand with it and the whole thing. I think I have a pretty good understanding of that. But my hope is that one day when Junius Paul is long gone, and he can't wear tights anymore, you know. I mean, unless I go to the grave in my tights, which I think I will. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna just you're gonna bury me in my tights. So literally tights forever, like the hashtag is real. Uh, but but no, really, like you know, when when that day is long gone and my time is long gone, I, I want somebody to be able to take, you know, maybe the little bit that I've done and yeah. take it further, like you know, do something new with it, like change the game, you yeah. know. Yeah, no, I, I really like that. And yeah, it's, I, I totally agree with what you're saying. It is just find whatever works for you and just be, just be, feel confident in that. Because it is, like so many people sort of say to me, like, Sonia, you actually don't really have one style. And I'm like, yeah, I don't, because I pride myself in having so many, so many different types. Because one, I dress on my mood. It depends on, like, for instance, today I'm feeling really girly. And so it's like, yeah, necklace on, got earrings on, and a like, really nice sort of flighty dress. But then some days where it's, I'm full on grunge mode and it is like yeah. this, brick that and so that, you know and you think lucky <laughs> what's going on here but it is just yeah. it's however you feel confident enough to wear it and plus also what I've also found is try new things as well because I'm kind of this year what I want to do is get out of my comfort zone and it is try styles I've never really tried before or I've tried it many years ago and I hated it it wasn't me then Whereas like now it's like, I'd like to give it a go again, mix some hosiery into it, try out different things. Because then I suppose you'll find out what you love, what you don't love, what you're kind of kind of teetering on. You're like, oh, do I, do yeah. I? So yeah, it is. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely do agree with that. I really do mm -hmm. agree with that. Yeah. yeah. So here's a burning question, right? So, because I wanted to ask you when I saw you and then I don't think it ever happened. So, you know, so, okay, it's so basically context again. Junior's Pays as part of a band as well, right? Which, they're incredible. Honest to God, if you haven't seen them, you need to see them. It is amazing, right? Um, But, you know, so one thing I really, 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 really wanted to ask you was, you know, because you wear hosiery on stage uh, whenever you perform, what did your band members think of that? Like, you know, when you when you first sort of, what I mean, obviously, I don't know the full journey, so I would like you to obviously just sort of, sort of explain, like, the journey with them. 
but also what did they what did they think to all that because surely i think I, I know from obviously experience from talking to people not everyone's open to it and especially men like even when i talk to men now they're like what and it's like oh God, okay i'm gonna have to like do some serious explaining so I just wanted to know, like, how how was all that like in terms of like when the band obviously first came together and you were wearing hosiery and the whole journey there on? Yeah, that's a that's an incredible question, Sony. That is an incredible question. One that has never been asked to me before, actually. No way. Um, yeah, no, seriously. Um, so currently everybody loves it. Yeah. It is it has become my identity it's become not my full identity but i won't say that but like it has become it is you know because your identity consists of so many things about yourself that's the reason why i say that but the fact that i wear tights every day has become such a part of i would say how just how people see me mm -hmm. um like it is true it really has become a a part of my identity as far as the world and music okay. and even fashion and all that so um i'm a pre i'm grateful that it is it is to that point because i mean i you know you know how much i love to wear tights yeah. and so <laughs> excuse me and so the fact that it has reached that point to where people don't see me they don't even imagine me not wearing tights yeah. um i'm very appreciative of that um I just, I just am because i don't have to i don't have to worry about it anymore you know yeah. i don't have to think i don't those these thoughts that like you're thinking right now, like I haven't thought these thoughts in years, you know, but I did have these. So going back to answering your question, um, just kind of segueing into that. I did have those thoughts for a time because I feel like anybody that is trying things that maybe haven't been tried in this period or like, you know, just things that people aren't used to. I'll say people, you know, things, mm -hmm. especially fashion wise, because you're talking about the eye and what you see and people react you know, to what they hear and people react to what they see the quickest, I'll say. Um, and so when you're talking about visual, it can catch people off guard. It's like anything that you see that you've never seen before. It's like, whoa, you know? Yeah. And so for me, it's interesting. Like I, I kind of, and this goes back to the tights with shorts. Like I kind of like just slowly yielded my way in. I had a feeling even back then, you know, 10 years ago that, um, if I, cause I made a decision one day that I was just going to do this. I was like, you yeah. know, I'm tired of wearing like under my pants or like, you know, just kind of hinting at it here and there yeah. ripped jeans. I mean, all that's cool. It's all great and fine. But like, I just got tired of that. Cause I saw something more, you know, for myself as far as that goes. And so I just made the decision one day, like, I'm just going to do this. And whoever's with me is with me and whoever isn't, isn't yeah. God bless you. And so yeah, I started posting pictures. That's when I started posting. I'll go back. It's funny, but with this story that I'm kind of chronicling, I'm trying to chronicle as quick as I can. I will post things to go along with that in my timeline as they go. So yeah. like, anyway, I started posting these pictures little by little. And even in the comments, like, you know, I can remember the comments being at first, like, are those tights or like, yo, like, yeah. why? like it was, there were those reactions, but even still, there were so many people that loved it at the same time that there was there was enough love for me to be like to just you know get that confidence to keep going even though I was confident in myself when you get that from other people it just yeah. makes it that much more and so I started doing that more and more and just to kind of like let people know like yo I'm about to like really kind of come in on this thing so I'm giving y'all warning shots and so as a musician though it started again like with that and then with kind of wearing shorts with tights and like slowly just kind of getting my way in there and then when i got the official ambassadorship from cecilia de raphael yeah. that sealed the whole deal it was just like yeah i'm now working for a company and i wear tights for them and i model tights for them yeah. and so like you know this is it this is what it is and that was that was the thing that just like catapulted it because I felt like okay now like I represent a major tights company I yeah. if I never gave myself full license to wear tights the way I want to the time is now and so I just took that and literally ran with it I'm glad you do you know what? I'm so glad you did because it's when I saw all that I was like this is you know what this is amazing and it, it's it's a huge stepping stone for a lot of, and I know obviously it would be for a lot of people, especially men, cross-dressers, transgenders, or however you kind of like identify. I know that is 
a huge thing, especially because because first when I saw it, I was just I was proud as hell, thinking, oh my god, like this guy has like he's made it and he's still making it, and it is just I, I can understand that would be a huge thing, just for just the average kind of Joe or John or whoever, just to sort of see to be like, well, if he can do it, surely I can. So I always find that like it's a very positive thing. I would never see any negativity in that. I find that a very very positive, empowering thing. So yeah, just bravo, bravo, bravo. <laughs> Back to you, Sony. <laughs> yeah, right, it is right. amazing. But um, but no, no, thank you. You know what? Thank you for sharing that insight because it is. I've always thought about it, thinking like, oh yeah, I just like I wonder. Um, only because it's like when I, I mean, I'm not a musician. I don't have a band. But it is just like when I used to um in my previous job when I used to work in the NHS, it was like I would go in dressed up like every day, obviously different style. And I remember everyone be like, oh, okay, what are you wearing today? Oh, okay, da da da. Oh, okay. Like I would get asked questions all the time. Like, so why do you always wear ties? Why do you always wear this? Da da da. And it's like, I mean, obviously I was confident in myself, but it was the more I saw people sort of like intrigued by it, asked me questions by it, and I was like, oh, okay, like this is cool. I'm kind of seeing a bit of influence here. And the next thing you know, more of the office were wearing it. And it was just like, <laughs> this is cool so it's just it's one of those where it's like when you're kind of especially in a close group and I say the office because we were very very close um yeah. it was at first they were like why do you wear it like all the time and it's like oh, okay well I review I do this I've got passion for it blah 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 and whatever and it was just they understood it more and then and it got to the point where it was like okay what are you wearing today what are you gonna wear today can we try and like match up can we try and cord and it's like oh this is so sweet so it's just it's just nice to hear it from like a male perspective and especially being in a band where it's you're in new places all the time seeing new faces all the time and making a huge impression all the time so yeah it's just yeah it was just a burning question <laughs> yeah because they're all artists and so you know it's like from an artist perspective it's mm. like it's it's i get more than anything i get man keep rocking your tights i think that's like the most amazing thing ever. I get yeah. so much encouragement from uh, musicians, especially because it's so different. And it's just like, that. you'll be surprised how many people come up to me and it's like, man, I wish I would have thought of that, you know? And I get yeah. that quite a bit. And so, you know, I mean, I'm not saying that to brag in any way, of course, mm -hmm. but just to say that like, you know, these are the things that come with um, just, operating in your own creativity and in your own gifts and in your own vision uh definitely and the same thing happens to me as far as what you're talking about there'll be so many times like if um people know women know that i'm playing a show yeah then they'll like wear their best tights just to show me like because tights is they know tights is yeah. my thing oh. and so it's like that happens all of the time um or like i get tagged in posts where like somebody I know is wearing some amazing tights and they'll like, you know, just tag me and it just to, you know, show me. It's like, yeah. these approve, like, do you approve of these? And I'm just like, of course, like, oh, you know, wear what you want. But just to have that effect where you, where you really have that influence and effect on people um, to where they start to show their own way of wearing tights. And it's like, there's so many times where um, people who may not have worn tights as much prior they'll yeah. start wearing tights more and they'll be like, oh my God, what was I missing? Yeah. You know, it's, yeah, that happens so much where it's like, I'm, you know, I'm going to be wearing tights all the time. That happens quite a bit. So I'm appreciative of all those things. And I mean that when those things happen, it's like mission accomplished, you know, it's nothing yeah. about me or like anything like that. It's about the community. And like, you know, anytime that you get to influence somebody to kind of find their way with it, you know, especially mm -hmm. with something like tights, I think it's a beautiful thing. You know, that's I my job. Agree. I know I, I, def I definitely agree with what you're saying there. And I, I, let me say, I was one of them. Like, literally, I was like, what's my best pair that I can wear when I go and see Junior's play? <laughs> literally. And you layered. Like, I was like, man, I this layered. is just Yes, the I best. layered. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was, that oh, was definitely Junis. cool. I appreciate that. Good news. So my final question that I wanted to ask you, and I'm definitely, I'm, I'm telling you now, I'm bringing you on for part two at some point. So part two, people, is going to happen. Um, yeah. But what I wanted to ask was, um, this is something I normally tend to ask. I didn't ask in my last one, unfortunately, just because we got so carried away with conversation. But yeah. if, um, I tend to always ask, if there's a message that you could leave to everyone watching, what would your message be? What would my message be? My message would be, 
to so yeah I'll, I'll say this that there's as far as you know for the I'll say this for the person that is afraid to wear tights or hosiery or anything that they're afraid to do because they're afraid of what people might say or uh, whatever reaction um to there's two things I feel like that drive me as far as the decisions I make love and fear and you choose which way you which direction you want to go in and it's not easy like it's you know we're human so I think, you know, you can stray on the fear side. I think it happens as human beings. Like these are all natural emotions. Um, but what, what I what I mean by all of that is, you know, focus on really loving yourself for who you are. And if you love yourself for who you are, then people's opinions won't matter. But it's like you don't have to be angry at them for their opinions. Like I don't I'm not angry at anybody for anybody who feels like men shouldn't wear tights or anything like that. Like. I don't have any anger or animosity. And I mean, I've gotten that in messages and DMs and all kinds of stuff, but I always respond in compassion and love because, you know, obviously they're coming from a place where if they feel like they need to even express that to me, mm -hmm. you know, maybe they're in a different place in life where it's like, you know, they, maybe they need that, um, that kindness from somebody, you know? So it's like, I always try to, be kind to people because I'll, it's all about love for me. I just try to really spread love through everything I do. And so that, but that starts with self and that's a process. It's a continual process, even that I go through, but I, you, I, I would say this, like the more you get to really love who you are and the more that you can express that love for other people and the people around you and whoever, then that's really what gives you the freedom to like be your full self, you know? It's that love thing, love over fear, you know? And when you have those moments of fear, that's okay too. It's fine, it's natural, like I said, but yeah, those two things, love and fear, and, you know, just be mindful of which one that you choose. I really like, you know, I actually really like that. I mean, I'd say that to everything, I know. I just, I realize I do. But you know what, it's, it's really nice to hear, because it is, it's like, I can... I can understand with obviously the amount of DMs that you probably would get because I mean I I get DMs on a certain level but it's the fact that you you go back to it with love because it's when I was um um on a pod on a podcast obviously that we're releasing at some point um I kind of mentioned oh when people do comment and when people when people do DM I defend I I'm just in defense mode because it's like one how dare you like just scroll on but it's like I'm happy to just stand up for that person whatever photo they're attacking or whatever they've got to say but it's nice just to sort of hear actually there's compassion and love and it's like you know what you you've actually really hit something with me now it and it's I'm glad you I'm glad you've said that I'm actually really glad you said that because now oh, I've got me thinking differently and with that said I feel like if because I love myself if I feel like somebody is to a point where I need to block them or whatever the case, I love myself enough to where I feel like I'll do what I got to do. Mm. But even that is based in love. You know what I mean? Yeah. All of it. Like there's never, it never angers me where it's like, if I feel like I need to block somebody or I need to speak my mind about something, it's never like from, because the anger only, you know, only eats you up inside. And so okay. it's like, but you can still express yourself and be vocal and assertive, you know, if you need to, you yeah. know, so still falls back into love <laughs> uh, it does, yeah yeah I, you know what I really like that I actually no I, re I really do like that to be fair it's it's something I'm probably going to try and use moving forward <laughs> oh, please, go on the please. defense and it's like I'm coming out of love here I'm speaking yeah. Love here. <laughs> yeah so that's right. I like that no well do you know what thank you so much Junis for being on I really really appreciate your time and you being here and just and sharing um pretty much most of your journey with us obviously like I said it's to be continued we will delve deeper in the second, sure. second part but no honestly honestly thank you so much for being here I honest to god it means so much to me so thank you thank you thank you Sony you know the pleasure is always mine and it's it's ours but you already know it's, it is truly my pleasure <laughs> and um it was great to see you while on tour 
in November. Thank you for coming to the concert. That was really, really, really amazing. And, I'll uh, be there in a heartbeat again. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, you know, I'll be but back in so London. Good. So, yeah, I'll be letting you know. You know, I'll be back at some point in 2023 for sure. So I'll be letting you know. And uh, always great to chat with you, Sonny. Oh, thank you. And thank you so much for everybody who's watching as well. Um, yeah, and yeah, if you do want to get in touch, obviously drop me a comment below wherever you're seeing this because I will be posting it everywhere. But for now, take care, guys. And thank you so much, Junis. And we'll see you all soon.